Jonathan with Barrier Throwbacks, um, and I'm back with another Evans Field unboxing. Uh, this jersey, I'm really excited about because I feel like there's a lot of different kind of little history behind this jersey. So this is another DiMaggio San Francisco Seals jersey, but it is not Joe DiMaggio this time. This time we have Dom DiMaggio, who was one of Joe's brothers. He had uh, three of the DiMaggios made it to the major leagues and played on the Seals. Joe, Dom, and Vince. Um, and from, you know, my research, Dom, I would say, is, would be the, the next best one after Joe. Uh, after he, he played with the Seals from 1937 uh, to 1939. After the Seals, his career, Seals career was over, he did play with the Boston Red Sox. Um, he played 11 years with the Red Sox. He had four uh, career 298 hitter, center fielder. He had four full seasons of hitting over 300. Technically, he had five, but the fifth, the last season he had over 300 was um, he played three games. So he had four full seasons where he had over 300 in the major leagues. Uh, one of his best seasons being um, 1950, where he led the league in runs, triples, and stolen bases. He also led the league in runs in the next season, 1951. So solid player um, in those 40s and 50s, or mostly the 40s in the major leagues. Uh, but this is his time with the Seals. So this is a 1939 home Seals jersey of Dom DiMaggio. Um, that was his last season with the Seals. He had 360 that year for the Seals, 14 home runs, 18 triples, and 48 doubles. So solid season. And here we go. So that's right there. Yeah, this is... Amazing. Got the back. We got his number one. So right there. And the other amazing thing about this jersey um, is that it is a it has the infamous the 1839 to 1939 baseball centennial patch. So a couple things interesting about this patch that kind of ties in with the seals is um if I'm not mistaken, originally they made the patch with, it was the person they had here was Joe DiMaggio, um, but they ended up changing it to, I think it's just kind of like a, just, I don't think this is represents any specific player, but um, two teams did still wear the patch with Joe DiMaggio. The A's and the Orioles in 1939 did wear the, the other patch that did have the Joe DiMaggio, um, I guess, character or player in the patch. So... That's another interesting thing, considering this is a Joe DiMaggio's brother's jersey. So it would have kind of been cool if the Seals would have stuck, would have wore the Joe DiMaggio patch, considering he was, you know, a staple in their team um, a few years before that. So the uh, 1939 is when the uh, Cooperstown, the Hall Baseball Hall of Fame did open. Now, the first class of players who got um, voted or inducted in the Hall of Fame was in 1936. But in 1939 is when they opened the doors. 1939 is also the would be the hundred year anniversary of when baseball was technically invented by Abner um, Doubleday. In 1839 is when he would have. Uh, they say he would have invented the sport. Now there's many kind of different versions of baseball that was played way before that in like you know the 1700s of different games that pretty much kind of were baseball in a sense different. But it kind of down the same, we're kind of the same actions of, you know, throwing, hitting, stuff like that. But um, this is very, there's a lot of kind of uh, controversy around this year. And if Abner Doubleday really even did invent the name baseball and the positions and having a diamond and all that stuff. So it's a pretty interesting Backstory if you want to look it up, but this was the patch that all the you know professional teams did wear in 1939. Right there. Um and yeah, so like I said, it was a it was the year where they really celebrated the um the hundred year anniversary of baseball, where you know they just had a lot of celebration going on for baseball, including the Hall of Fame opening up. Um so that's when I, this is my first jersey with this patch. And I love this. It's probably one of my favorite patches on any of my jerseys. 
So that's a little history behind this jersey. Um, the Seals that season did end up uh, second place, came to second place in the PCL. They did not win in the playoffs, but um, so they were the second place team. So it was a solid season and Dom was probably the best player on the team that season leading the way. So at least hitting wise. So, but now let's get into the close-ups of the jersey itself. Start at the bottom. Like I always say, I love that Evans doesn't have a jog tag at the bottom. It's just clean. It's all focused on just the jersey itself, which I love. So, you know, you got the rounded shape here on the bottom. You got your hand right there. You got navy blue and orange. Uh, the piping going all the way up. And then around to the back and back up down. So, you got that. You got that. Navy pinstripes. Let me see if I turn off the lights and that'll be better. All right. Got the navy pinstripes. Come up, you got your navy on orange or orange on navy felt double stitching. Just great work by them, like always. Just killing it. Right sleeve, once again, you got the navy blue, orange, navy blue piping, just like on the front. So you got that around the sleeve, no patch. Left sleeve though, you got that there. Let's get into this patch. Super thick. So you can see the outline stitching around there. And yeah, that's... Yeah, this patch is beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite patches on any of my jerseys. I have a lot of patches, but this one. Like I said, it would have been super cool if the Seals would have used the Joe DiMaggio, but for whatever reason, they didn't. Let's come to the back. We got the sun collar here. Protect the back of your neck from the sun. Something that they used to wear back in the days. You got Ebbetsfield flannels. Seattle, large. 50% wool, 50% polyester made in the USA. You got your Ebbetsfield night game ticket that they do here. Visit ebbets.com for sure. Find some good gear right there. Let's check the back of the jersey out. I like it that it has the one. You know, one's always just kind of a clean number to have on the back. Same thing, just like the front. You got the orange on navy felt double stitching right here. Yeah. Beautifully done, like always. I just want to go over it one more time. That stitching is just... And that patch once again. All right. Well, now I'm going to throw it. Which is measured from here to here, 24 inches. So that's the chest. Now let's flip it over. I measured from the top of this sun collar straight down to the bottom. It's 34 and a half inches from this part right here where the sun collar ends to the bottom is 33 and a half inches. This is a large. So that's the sizing you'll get. Um, but like I said, there's two different bodies when it comes to the baseball flannels from Ebbets. So it depends which body uh, of the jersey you get. But if you look at the pictures, you can tell which ones have more of the rounded shoulder and which ones have more of the square shoulder. So, yeah. So this is the jersey on me, and it matches up perfectly with my 1940 Seals hat. Like I said, this is a large. Um, 5'10". I'm 5'10", 210. So take that how you want it. But that's, you know, that's how it fits on me. Pretty much fits perfect. Um, and something I forgot to mention, that 1939 um, Dom had such a great season, which I did say some of the stats earlier for the Seals, that he actually won the Pacific Coast League MVP that year. So, like I said, just more iconic stuff when it comes to this jersey. So, that's that. You know, Evans, again, like always killed it. 
did a great job, brought an iconic, iconic jersey to life that feels like it's from 1939, not from 2022. You know, Wait a second. And yeah, so that's that. Um, check them out, edits.com. They got great stuff. And that's really all I can say for this one. So everyone, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you're not, if you are subscribed, thanks for being here again. Everyone have a good day.